What it do, what it do, what it do, good people coming to you live from Taz TV 410. I'm your host, Taz Dean. Before we even get started, go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the channel, good people. Listen here, people, I ain't gonna hold you long. I just had something that was, was just holding on to my spirit. Last week, I had got a video, I got a video of Andre Rufus Jr. Um, this this a video, this 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 not to kick a man when he down, kick a young man when he down. This is about understanding and 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 and, and people just paying attention to when the ball drops. When I first started this show, when I first started when I first started started going going live and going and, 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 and talking about the history of the game in Baltimore and things of that nature, it started out from a story. Everybody has a story. And last week I had got a disturbing video of the kid Audrey Rufus um, locked up, right? Things happen. I've been arrested before, but things happen. You know what I'm saying? And if it's your fault, I believe that if, if, if you do the crime, you do the time. However, I'm not here to, 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 to kick a man when he's down. No, I'm not doing that because he's a young man and he still got a lot, he still has time to turn his life around. What I'm gonna talk about is just a little bit because I ain't gonna hold y'all long. I ain't gonna hold y'all long. I gotta go to work myself. However, I remember when this kid was coming up, and when I say good people, this kid wasn't just a basketball player. He wasn't just a basketball player. He was that. He was that coming into high school. One of the top rated uh, small forward, power forwards in the country at the time. Now he's a small forward. As you can see, he can shoot the ball 6'9", 6'10", easy, left-handed, you know? It's, uh, it's sad. I met him when he was, when he was, when he was young, when he, when he was just starting out. When he was just, I ain't say he was just starting out, but he was young. I think this is before they even touched, he before he even touched uh, high school. Now the thing, the thing that they get to me because I know how everybody was pulling at the kid. Everybody wanted the kid to play with this, with them, this, that, and the third. And I'm talking AU. I'm talking colleges. I'm talking prep schools. I'm, I'm, yeah, every level that he was on. He was wanted, right? Now, good people, like I said, we don't know the ins and outs. We don't know what people go through in their personal life, right? We don't. But we know sometimes as us, as, uh, we know when you playing that game and you out there, and I'm not going to say it alone because we're going to say rest in peace to his dad, Audrey Griffiths. He passed, I want to say, a, a year ago, maybe two. You know, we don't know how to how he how he handling that situation, how he handling that that loss. Because when you see him on when, when I heard him on on different interviews at the end of the interview, he shouts out his mother, and he shouts out his father. So the love is there. However, coming up in Baltimore City, there's so many potholes, so many it's 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 it's, it's so much going on, so many things you can get in, you get caught up in, right? Now. My my thing I have for y'all. Do 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 you do we know when we going down a a, a spiral a, a spiral hole as a kid? I'm a grown man talking to you at 42 years old, and I'm gonna tell you at his age I didn't know, right? However, the social media wasn't like it is now. I felt some type of way because the video that I'm gonna show the, the video that you, that that's circulating. Is that is that the end of it? I'm showing you. I'm gonna show you the clip at the end of this commentary. But I got frustrated because the clip that you hear, you could you could hear the, the other inmates calling calling him dumb. Like, look at his dumb ass. No dumb as shit. You got one inmate calling another inmate dumb, and they both locked up. <laughs> Picture that, right? But yeah, that's neither here nor there. I'm just like. Uh, I'm at the point where I'm like, man, whoever was in this corner, whoever have his ear, somebody need to reach out, man. 
Somebody need to reach out. Some of y'all say, Ted, why you don't reach out? You may know the kid. Why you? Why don't you just reach out? Ah, I may know the kid. No, I'm talking about somebody that that the kid listened to. And not only that, I'm not in a position to help uh, help help anyone right now. We gonna we gonna have we gonna have we gonna we gonna have discussions because there's a lot of men out here that would love to help that would love to, 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 to be just the ear for an, a, a person. I'm not. I could be that. I could be an ear. I give some suggestions and things of that nature. But our kids ain't built like that. Our kids built on on material. Our kids built on money. And I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna put that on 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 everybody. I'm not gonna do that. But what I was feeling disappointed was how this kid had everybody eating off his off his plate, and now he going through some things. And where everybody at? Where everybody at? You know. Now, and we all know. They say, "Well, I try to help him. I try to listen to him, man." We all know when we young like that, we bull headed. We think we know it all. We do. But I can see somebody going deeper and deeper in a, in a spiral. Somebody need to catch them now. Somebody need to catch them now. Now we ain't gonna we ain't gonna speculate on all what was what, what what he what he's doing or or have done. Let's just let's just say this. He down his luck right now. He need the, the people that, that that grew up with him. His peers. And I'm pretty sure his peers trying to figure it out too. But yeah, need all hands on deck on this one because it's not too late for him. And that's one thing about us in Baltimore. Once 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 the streets get to you, we kind of like shun shun the basketball community kind of like shun you away. People will play the five with you, be phony with you and shit, but it, it kind of like shun you away. And I'm I'm pretty sure that's what's going on with this kid. He's been used up. What they say, don't let basketball you, you use you. You use basketball, but that's it. Come on, man. Y'all got to talk. Y'all got to talk. Y'all ain't saying the whole, that, that. Y'all y'all are not explaining the whole the, the whole dynamic of the of the thing. When you when you're a basketball player, when you're a very good basketball player at a young age, you get you get treated different from everybody else, and that's just the truth. That's the flat out truth. So you get spoiled all we go all we to you go all the way up to high school, you go to college, and hopefully you even go further. But you get spoiled all the way. You get spoiled. A lot of times when we get to high school, there's a different levels to it. You continue to be good, you are gonna continue to get spoiled. Same thing in college. You will continue to get spoiled. But let 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 you let you you even slip and play, or well, not even that you slip and play. People could have just got better. The game could have just been at a standstill. You probably don't want it as much as you, as, 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 as you as you once did. And once the recruiters and them coaches see that, sense that, they're gonna treat you different. Now you didn't heard, you didn't heard. Don't you don't 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 uh don't let basketball you 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 use basketball. But come on now, when you got people doing everything for you as a kid, and and then now when it's when you're a whole grown man, when you're a young grown man, and you gotta make these decisions on yourself, you don't know which way, you don't know which way to go. You don't know what, what, what's a what's a logic decision. I'm just saying, man. Coming live from Ted's TV. Uh-huh.